following video is a five minute overview of the new features and capabilities that were introduced with the release of Fuse 3.1 on March the 12th, 2012. One of the key headline items is the introduction of Acumen Cloud, a free subscription model included with Fuse that now provides the ability for you as the end user to not only score the quality of your project using the, the schedule index, but more importantly now the ability to actually benchmark and rank the quality of your project against other similar nature projects around the world. The schedule cleanser has been completely revamped. The ability now to explicitly select which activities undergo a schedule cleanse, including enhanced cleansing capabilities specifically around leads and lags. Calendar forensics, the ability now to actually interrogate the definition of a calendar, looking at changes to working, non-working uh, time, exceptions to calendars, so on and so forth. Uh, additional metrics, um, enhanced industry standard metrics, um, in addition the inclusion now of new schedule metrics such as hidden duration, which is an indication as to the, the relative use of uh, leads and lags compared to the duration of activities. Um, the ability now to use what we call variable fields within metrics, the capability to define a metric uh, prior to actually knowing what the name or the definition of a user-defined or code field is. Enhanced P6 and Cobra integration, the ability now to directly integrate and import uh, P6 XML files as well as uh, significantly enhanced uh, Deltec Cobra integration. The initial project screen is essentially the same. As a Primavera user though, one of the first differences you'll notice is this additional menu item now for integrating with XML files. The approach is exactly the same. Let's go ahead and select our P6 XML schedule, select the import, and from this point forward, the, the approach, the process, the uh, capability within Fuse is exactly the same as it was with regards to XER files, which of course we still very much support. When we go to the analysis view, one of the first things or the first differences that you may notice is the, the user interface. The, uh, the tabs at the bottom of the screen are much more uh, accessible, much easier to navigate through uh, without the need to, uh, to scroll through very large numbers of metric libraries. You'll also notice that the, the default tab now is uh, renamed to Schedule Quality. The metrics themselves have been uh, further calibrated. You'll notice some additional metrics in here, for example, insufficient detail. I mentioned earlier the uh, addition of new metrics. Let me show you an example of one of those. We have something called hidden duration. So hidden duration is a ratio between the duration on relationships and the duration on activities. And in simple terms, if the relationship duration is greater than 35% of the activity duration, then it gets flagged as an exception. So in our example project here, we have eight, eight activities where the duration on the relationship is greater than 35% of the duration on the activity. And if we take a look at the durations on the lags themselves, you can see here some very large durations relative to the duration on the activity. With regards to actually cleansing a schedule, the schedule cleanser has been completely revamped. You'll notice a completely brand new user interface. You'll also notice now some additional cleansing utilities listed in the view here. The way this view works is you can select each of the individual schedule cleansing criteria, so for example redundant logic, removal of hard constraints, etc. And within each of those groupings, you can now define which individual activities you want to execute the, the cleansing action upon. So for example, under soft constraints, we could explicitly choose feed study. Within hard constraints, we could select all mandatory start and all mandatory finish constraints. You'll notice now the ability to remove uh, negative lags or leads and then Within the lag section itself, the ability now to either convert every single lag to an activity or alternatively 
simply remove the duration from the relationship, in essence removing the lag. From this point forward, the generation of a cleansed scenario is exactly the same as it was in 3.0, and you could choose to go to the forensics module and interrogate the changes within the schedule, for example. A further addition is what we call calendar forensics. Let's go ahead and take our current schedule and compare that to our initial plan. Load in both projects. We'll go straight to the forensics analyzer where you'll notice a new icon, modified calendars. Let's select modified calendars and then we'll choose, for example, standard calendar. So we get to select from the entire list of calendars present within the, uh, the, the basis schedule, in this case the current schedule, and immediately we can look at differences between uh, the, in this case, the current schedule and the initial plan. And we can see that there are changes with regards to added and removed shifts. We can see that uh, some uh, shift time was uh, removed in the current schedule relative to the initial plan here on Monday and Wednesday. Conversely, time was added on Friday afternoon. In a similar manner, if we scroll through the, the explicit exceptions, this will actually pinpoint changes to uh, what I call holiday or working non-working time. So we can see here in the current schedule uh, the project has been updated to now include a holiday period that actually wasn't present in the original schedule. So again, really interrogating the definition of a calendar rather than simply looking at changes to calendar assignments on activities. Finally, let's take a look at Acumen Cloud. Acumen Cloud is a brand new module included within Fuse. The whole concept behind Acumen Cloud is the ability to not only run a Fuse analysis and come up with an overarching uh, index or, or quality score, but equally and more importantly now the ability to see how that score compares and ranks to other projects of a similar size and nature. So in our example here, we can see that our current schedule um, scores a, a lowly uh, 23 out of 100 with regards to the, the brand new Fuse Schedule Index. The Schedule Index has been calibrated to give a much more representative range of values. And we can see here that based on our score of 23 relative to other projects, again, of a similar size and nature, we only rank 21st in the entire population. Now, if we were to go ahead and do a schedule cleanse, let's very quickly run our schedule cleanser. So we end up with our new scenario. If we go back to Acumen Cloud now and look at the, the score for our cleanse schedule, you can see the score has massively jumped now to 72. That puts us in the, the top 87th percentile in the population as well as giving us an indication as to our probability of success. So in this case, our schedule quality scores 72, 87th percentile, and 73% chance of success. Now you'll notice on the right-hand side, the, uh, the individual uh, markers here, these are the, the metrics that actually make up the overarching Fuse Schedule Index. And again, not only are you presented with the score, but more importantly now, the, the red marker here shows where in the population that score lies. So it's a great indicator as to how you compare and contrast to other projects. There's even the ability to actually flag your project as a particular project type. So that was a quick snippet as to the additions and updates included in the Fuse 3.1 update. For more information and product downloads, please visit our website www.projectacumen.com. Thank you.